Hey everyone, welcome, welcome to Catamaran Cocktails. So today we're making a Brandy Alexander with a little bit of a Caribbean spin. <laughs> one of our best performing videos is a drink that includes Punch Cuba. You guys love that one. So we're going to do another drink with that ingredient. There's a lot of different theories about the origins of the Brandy Alexander. As with a lot of wonderful cocktails, its history is a little muddled. We're not exactly sure how muddled. it <laughs> There's no muddling involved. Go on. This is a very season appropriate drink, great for the holidays, and it's sort of sweet dessert style. Fun fact, this was one of John Lennon's favorite drinks. He said it tasted like a milkshake. All right, Ryan, you got this. Okay. So for this drink, you're gonna need brandy. Here we have some nice French brandy. You're gonna need dark creme de cacao. And typically this would call for a, a, a white creme de cacao. But instead of heavy cream and white, we're going to use Panche Cuba. First, we're going to take our shaker, fill it up with a lot of ice. You're going to add one and a half ounces of brandy. Next, you're going to add two thirds of an ounce of the dark creme de cacao. And lastly, you're going to add one and a half ounces of Ponche Cuba. Now we're adding quite a bit here because this is going to compensate for the heavy cream that would typically be in this drink. You, you actually want to shake this a lot because you want to make it nice and rich and foamy. So here we go. Really, really fluffy. Really fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To serve this drink, we're going to use two nice dessert glasses. Alright Lauren, you ready to try some? I totally am! Woo. So are you expecting this to be amazing? Yeah. Cheers! Yeah. Here we go. Mm. Such a good twist on a Brandy Alexander. Oh, it's wonderful! These are great drinks in general, but with the Ponche Cuba, it makes it really, really special. I know exactly what this tastes like. Neapolitan ice cream. Yeah. Pistachio ice cream. Huh. It tastes like pistachio ice cream. I feel like it doesn't taste like pistachio ice cream. Try it again, try it again. Pistachio ice cream. This is so well balanced and so perfect, and this is bound to be a holiday hit. You could probably like, you could probably make this up in a batch ahead of time because you serve it neat so it doesn't melt. Yep. You know, it's not like yep. the ice. So this is you, like a great group drink. You yeah. Know, you could prepare ahead of time. You can't just you can keep it in the fridge and just keep it in a nice pitcher. Give it a good stir when you're bringing it out. Um, chances yeah, are. Yeah, probably settles, right? Yeah. Chances are you'll probably go through the drink really fast anyway. Yeah. You know, this is great too for somebody that wants a holiday drink, but they don't necessarily like eggnog. Because I know a lot of people that don't like eggnog. That's true. I love it. But do you like it? Mm, so so. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining. We are rounding the corner on a whole entire year. I don't know where the time Ooh. has gone, but uh, we really appreciate you sticking with us. You can subscribe below. Below. <laughs> Somewhere below. Uh, or follow us on Instagram at catamaran.cocktails. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Blah. And like it, blah blah blah. It comes from this era. <laughs> and and it's blah a blah blah. Dessert drink. Mostly. Dessert. Yeah! Come on, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> haven't even started drinking yet. I know, it's true. We haven't. Kuba. Stop looking at me. Well, you say weird stuff.